A variable potential divider is also called a potentiometer. Potentiometer, or POT for short, is a circuit used for selecting different output voltages. Now batteries and cells have a fixed voltage. For example, a, a AA battery uh, is just 1.5 volts. But sometimes we need different voltages for different appliances, such as your mobile phone or, uh, or a printer or a computer. So how would we do that? Well, we use a potential divider circuit or a potentiometer to um, select a different output voltage. And here is a circuit diagram of how a variable potential divider works. First, we start with our our battery and let's call that battery a 6 volt battery supply. Uh, we're going to put two resistors in series just to start with so we can illustrate how this potential divider circuit works. Now from previous flashcards we've learnt that the 6 volt voltage supply will be shared equally in this series circuit over the components depending on the ratio of their resistances. Now if the resistances are the same, then the voltage will be shared equally. And so we'll share 3 volts over this resistor and 3 volts across this resistor. And then the charge with zero energy left returns back to the power supply. So if we were to connect a voltmeter and do a bit of exploring in this circuit, so I'm going to connect my voltmeter to this point here to start with. What reading would we get? The voltmeter is registering a potential difference here of 6 volts and 0 volts, so it's a 6 volt potential difference. Okay, so that's 6 volts. So what happens if we were to connect it not to the top but just to the middle? Well, now the charge which is going around this circuit has got a voltage of 6 volts and we lose 3 volts over the first resistor. That means we've got 3 volts left. So the voltmeter is going to register 3 volts. We've effectively changed the output voltage. We could, con we could then connect this to another circuit which requires 3 volts. Now this is not a particularly useful circuit unless you want 3 volts, but what if you wanted 4.5 volts or 5.5 5 volts output? Well instead of having a fixed connection, we could have a variable connection. So let's see how that would work. So I'm still going to use a 6 volt power supply, but this time I'm going to use a variable potentiometer which is basically a big resistor with a sliding contact. And we can connect that sliding contact to our external circuit, or in this case a voltmeter, to explore the potential difference. And as the charge flows through this big resistor, then it starts to lose its voltage. So it starts off with 6 volts. By the time it's got to here, it's probably at 5 volts. Here, it's probably at 4 volts. In the middle, it has lost half of its voltage. Uh, 2 volts, 1 volt, and finally, 0 volts, because it's lost all of the energy the charge was carrying. It returns back to the, the battery. So by connecting this slider to different points on this resistor, we can select any of these voltages. For example, we could select 4 volts. And we could then use that. That could be another circuit which will go on to, uh, to power whatever appliance needs 4 volts. And this is called a potential divider circuit. A variable potential divider circuit. 
Hope that makes sense. Usually these are used in radios uh, for volume controls. They're usually not a, a linear up and down slider. It's usually a uh, rotating variable potential divider such as you can see here that will have a, a little knob on it which you could then turn and that might be the volume switch for example. And we've got three connections. Those three connections uh, refer to the connection here, the connection here, and the slider connector. So those are the, the three parts of the variable potential divider. 